Here we have a word problem with a chart and we're being asked to solve a problem that has to do with the average rate of change. So uh, just let's look at the chart to start with. Uh, we've got times here in this column, so zero seconds up to 10 seconds and the distance traveled. So this is about Gina driving a race car. So at zero seconds, she's traveled zero meters. That makes sense. At 10 seconds, she's traveled 239.6 meters. And we've got this time t, and distance is written as a function in terms of t, d of t. And that, that makes sense because the uh, amount of distance she's gone depends on the amount of time um, she's taken to go that distance. Then we've got two questions here. The first one says, find the average rate of change for the distance driven from zero to two seconds. So the average rate of change is going to be the difference between the function values. So d of t2 minus d of t1 over t2 minus t1. So we take two t values. In this case, it's two and zero. So on the bottom, we're going to have two minus zero. And on the top, we take the, the function values at, at those places. So d of t2 is 71.2, and d of t1 is 0. So this is really 71.2 minus 0. So it's 71.2 divided by 2. And that is 35.6. So the average rate of change is 35.6. And this is actually meters per second. All right, let's find the uh, the second problem here. It says find the average rate of change for the distance driven from four to 10 seconds. So here's our T1 now, and here's our T2. And then we have D of T1 and D of T2. So let's set it up again. So D of T2 is 239.6 minus 166.4. Point four, and then we've got 10 minus 4. So on the bottom, this is 6. And I'm just going to grab my calculator. 239.6 minus 166.4. That gives us 73.2. Divide that by 6. And we get 12.2 meters per second. So one of the things you can see from the data that came up here is that um, the acceleration between zero and two seconds is really fast. So the rate of change is 35.6 meters per second. But uh, I guess once, um, once uh, she's driven for a while, that rate of change starts to slow down. So if you were going to graph it, it would look like this at the beginning and then more like that. So that is a, a word problem involving rate of change.